What's up guys and welcome back for another EVE Online video. Uh, today we are continuing uh, with my Life as a Corporation Director series um, and carrying on with what I uh, was trying last week with having a bit of footage in the background uh, instead of just being sat spinning in a station. Had a little bit of positive feedback from that last week so we'll do it again. Um, just for a little bit of context while the footage is being recorded here, um, I am the context is important for stuff that happens later on in the video. Um, I am running in Nullsec in my Gila, I'm doing um, some Garista's Havens uh, just in the background, um, partly because I want to demonstrate that the Gila, um, when fit correctly, is perfectly capable of running any um, combat anomaly. Um, so the Haven is the 9 out of 10 um, combat anomaly. Uh, tonight I've been running Sanctums, which is the 10 out of 10, and I've done, you know, I've done the hidden hubs and those sort of things. Um, so that's it. hopefully that's interesting for some people that the Gila is capable of this, and you can just see it slowly work its way through in the background. Um, I will likely do a video on running these sites um, at a later date, but for now, this will have to do. Um, but alongside this, and what you can't see on screen, is on my other monitor, I am uh, taking part in our Monday mining fleet with my alt. Um, and we are on, so I'm just mining over there, and we're on comms as a fleet um, for my mining, with my mining uh, fleet. Uh, as a bit of a social, obviously, like we do every week, but also we're having our town hall, which is an update from Hot Black and the rest of our directors um, and a, to the rest of the corporation about what we're doing, um, and where we're going, that sort of stuff. And also, um, you know, as a forum for a proper conversation, um, full transparency, all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's an important conversation to be in and to be part of. Um, but what it meant I was doing, which wasn't, which isn't best practice, obviously, is I wasn't listening properly to the Intel channels in Nelsec, um, and was not, you know, focused enough on this part of what I was doing, um, because I was enjoying the conversations with the guys in, um, Disaster Area. Uh, so that's the context for the video. Um, also, for this video, I do just want to mention, um, I know I promised it a while ago because we've well passed 500 subscribers now, so thank you very much to everyone. We're up at over 550 now. Um, I am still planning on doing my big giveaway. Um, it's been delayed uh, for two reasons, uh, first of which is financial. Um, I have been, if you know, if you followed the series, you'll know I've just I lost my orca a little while ago, or two weeks, and this week I've um, lost a couple of ships, uh, Stratios, which I'll touch on later, and uh, Gila, um, as well. So, you know, being able to do a big expensive giveaway is proving challenging financially, but I am going to do it. Um, and then the second one is I want to do the giveaways of these ships. Um, like I did for the Astro and the Stratios um, during a video where I use the ship and demonstrate its capability and things um, and at the moment I've just not had the opportunity to do that um, because part of the, you know, the reason for the fit and the, and the ship itself is to run as part of a fleet um, and it has to be worthwhile to do so and with the right preparation um, and I just haven't had the opportunity to do that up until this point um, an opportunity is looming uh, so hopefully later this week, maybe maybe next week, I'll be able to run that fleet and then also should have enough cash to be able to do the giveaway. So that is coming. Uh, sorry it's taken so long. Um, but in the meantime, uh, by way of an apology, um, we will be running another giveaway in this video. Uh, this is sponsored by... Um, Kovacs VAT112 or VAT112 um, is a member of Disaster Area um, and he's very keen on his skins as am I if you'll um, earlier in the series I was doing different skins all the time 
Um, he is very keen on his skins and um, so he is sponsoring a giveaway for this video. Um, as you might have guessed, it is a skin um, and we'll go into more detail later on in the video, so stick around for that. Alright, so I guess I better do the summary for the week. Um, it's been a pretty busy week for Disaster Area. Um, we've had quite a lot going on, as you'll have seen if you've watched last week's video, we were mucking around in a shattered wormhole. Um, that had really good reception from our guys. Um, there was lots of activity in there, some good uptake. Um, we ran that mining fleet in there last week. Um, there's been lots of um, combat site ratting, um, more mining over the course of the week, getting good minerals out, getting a lot of isk from the blue loot, all that sort of stuff. Um, and generally just getting the members excited about wormhole life and, and what's to come. Um, but then in parallel, uh, while that was going on, uh, Hot Black uh, in particular, um, but with help from a couple of others, um, has we have established ourselves in a temporary home in um, a C4 Pulsar, which we're very excited about. Um, we've anchored a structure um, so that we can use it as a proper base of operations, um, albeit in a in a temporary fashion for the time being um, and so that's been the major focus of this week uh, so I think it was end towards the end of last week um, Hot Black was anchoring the structure um, obviously that takes 24 hours and there's a, a vulnerability period so um, I also got myself in to the C4 to help him with some security um, just for the brief period that that structure becomes vulnerable um, and then we've been onlining and getting um, then getting everything set up for the members um, making sure all the pathfinders working correctly um, sorting out um, discord and things based on feedback through the town from the town hall um, which again uh, Actually, it wasn't announced until the town hall that the um, wormhole was ready to go. Uh, so our, one of our other directors, Taj, has been working hard on um, doctrine fits. Uh, and generally, we've been you know, collating some resources um, that we can share with the rest of the group um, about wormhole life generally. Recommended fits for different things um, and just sort of... Yeah, just generally how to get by in um, sort of living in a wormhole. Um, so that's that's been the major focus for all of our, all of us directors this week. Um, as mentioned, as well, I've also been grinding, trying to grind some isk out in um, in Nullsec just to pay for some stuff. Um, but that's been a big focus. Uh, C4s are more complex because there's no high sec static, so our, our the logistics are more difficult. Um, but that's a that's a, we're viewing that as a positive thing. I think most wormhole groups would view that as a positive thing. Uh, our C2 that we got evicted from had a high sec static, so logistics was very easy. But the C4 doesn't, so we have to scan down the chain. We have to be very well disciplined in keeping our chain um, well scanned down um, making sure it's available if people want to move stuff in at the moment um, and that sort of stuff um, the town hall which as I say is going on in the background um, in this during this uh, video is was was really good productive actually we were really pleased with the turnout again um and with the strong engagement especially from some of the newer guys for the corporation um there were lots of questions um hopefully we gave satisfactory answers um lots of suggestions as to how we might run our discord better um how we might um you know what what 
suggestions as to as to what we might be able to do in the wormhole with some fits and things once we mentioned that um so that's really cool some excellent engagement uh, and we also announced the promotion of another fleet commander um it'll be more specifically for mining he's been he now runs our mine day ops um but is also running some others uh and is perfectly welcome to run any fleet he would like um, so that was excellent and also well received by the group, I believe. Um, and what else? That, as a summary for Deesa's activities, that probably covers it this week. Um, as I say, it's been entirely wormhole focused. Um, I am planning to bring a lot more wormhole content to YouTube now, now that we've got a a base of operations in there again so um, my priority this week uh, as I mentioned in the last video my priority this week will be to produce um, the new bro wormhole guide I talk about it in my last video um, so once I get my scanner in there we can we can talk we can start recording that and work through all the steps um, do some wormhole combat sites um maybe some scanning um all that good stuff um will be um put on youtube and maybe even and you'll <coughs> if you've watched my channel for long enough or you go and check out my killboard you will know i'm not a pvp pilot but perhaps i'll go on a couple of roams and maybe record some of that for you guys as well so you can see me die uh, a glorious and embarrassing death how does that sound um oh at, at the very least we'll do some fleet pvp rooms and I'll try and get some of that recorded because that would be that'd be good fun um the other thing i wanted to mention as i mentioned at the start of the video i have um lost a couple of ships in the last uh couple of weeks well the last week um i've been relative sort of annoyed at myself for having lost them like they were perfectly avoidable situations as they so often are um for <laughs> for me um it's essentially just not really paying enough attention um but so the first one uh again you go check out my um killboard if you're interested um, if you're not, I'm just going to describe it because I don't have footage of the first one. Um, I was just doing some scanning and some hacking in my Stratios in wormhole space. And I've just gotten out of a habit, really. I'm, I'm not paying enough attention um, or taking threats seriously enough. You know, when you live in wormholes, you've got to be paranoid. Um, there is no local chat. Everyone is out to get you all the time. That's what wormhole space is for. It is amazing for PvP, um, so you just got to expect everyone wants to kill you. So I was um, hacking, so therefore I was uncloaked in a site. Um, I saw someone on D-Scan, um, but they were in, what were they in? Something not particularly, not at all threatening. Um, it, may have, it was a heron, they were in a heron. Um, so I wasn't that concerned and they went off D-Scan again. Um, and and you know was weren't on D scan for a little while, so I stayed hacking, um, which I shouldn't have done. I should have left the the can at that point um, and cloaked up. Even if it was just you know next to the can cloaked up, um, you'd have to leave the site necessarily. Um, but I kept going and probably wasn't hitting D scan often enough, and so maybe five minutes later i suddenly was dropped on um by a stratios and a manticore um and that was the first i knew they were in system they'd cloaked uh, and had come and landed on me and directly on me as well um which means which suggests to me the heron Yeah, which means that it was long enough the Heron told them I was there. This is my thinking. The Heron told me them I was there. They warp into the site cloaked. Um, they bookmarked um, 
the, like a, a large collidable object that was near me warp out, warp back into that and land basically right on top of me um, so they did uh, you know get the jump on me and scram me I because I couldn't leave um, I was going to fight back I, had, I was relatively pleased with my fit and I'm quite confident in that fit um, and if it was just the Stratios who knows it could have gone quite well it was wormhole police so they are you know they are they're they're good they've got good good fits good ships i had chatted to the guy afterwards and his fit was quite strong and probably would have beaten me but it would have been a very close duel but with the added dps from the manticore which is a stealth bomber um i didn't really stand a fighting chance but what i was pleased with is that i was able to kill the manticore um quickly uh before he could warp out which was which was cool um because i was hacking i didn't have a scram on my fit uh, but my drones blapped the manticore nice and fast um, but he had got a couple of cycles of his torpedoes off and so then it was a sort of a you know i was fighting the stratos from a large disadvantage um and therefore lost um which is fine, you know, I was annoyed at myself for letting myself get caught, but quite pleased with myself to take someone with me on my way down. Um, and that was all good. And then, uh, we'll probably, we'll, I'll skip forward the video here um, to um, my next, my next death. Um, now, at this point, I am... This, well, this I got this recorded, so you can you can watch this on screen now. Um, as I was still in, I'm still on comms with Disaster Area, um, so I'm not in the Intel channel, um, and I'm not paying enough attention. Again, uh, and at, at this point, I'm actually talking away on uh, the D DISA, um, and I'm controlling my mining alt, so I'm just not paying any attention to what's going on. I, you know, I look away from my screen and. I'm just talking to to the to the guys, um, so I don't notice when a neutral I've seen before and I know what he's flying enters system. Uh, I only notice when he lands on me. Uh, I say on comms, "Ah, oh, shit! I haven't paid enough attention." Uh, he lands, and then a whole fleet follow up, which we'll see here. Uh, but again. You know, this point, I you, I know I'm dead. There's no surviving this. The, the, the numbers that drop in, um, but I'm able to very quickly blap down two of their stealth bombers again. So took two stealth bombers with me. Um, again, you can go and check the kill board. Um, they and they were about, uh, the two of them came to a combined uh, about equivalent value to my ship. So I, you know, I was isk even. Uh, when I died them, which I was again quite pleased about. Um, and then what was also quite satisfying is that when this fleet then moved systems, moved on, you know, I put in the Intel channel that they were there, um, they got caught, um, they lost a couple of pods and the low key and a couple of other things to the to weapons of mass production, which was quite satisfying. But obviously, I lost my ship, which was a bummer. Um, and as I say, and it's completely avoidable. Like I don't lose my ships down in warp space, like really at all, um, because I'm paying attention most of the time. You know, I'm. You pay attention. You, a neutral turns up in local. Um, I'm on the intel channels. Um, I you know as soon as the neutral enters, I align. And I'm, you know, 60k from the warp in by the time someone warps in and I'm aligned and I'm into the warp out so that you're just uncatchable. But the second you're not paying attention, some of these tackle ships are unbelievably fast um, and they'll land on you, point you and then the fleet turns up a minute later and there's nothing you can do about it. Um, so you have to pay attention all the time. And there's, you know, I know this, these are lessons I, I already know. Um, I just get complacent, uh, basically. I was enjoying chatting to the guys too much, but didn't want to pass up the opportunity to make a bit of ISK on the side whilst doing it. And as in the end, I end up losing ISK, you know, so, blah, whatever. Um, 
But so as a result, as I said at the start, um, we have been um, shipping, uh, slipping ISK a little bit. So I haven't been able to run the, the big giveaway that I wanted to do. Um, so very generously, Kovacs has sponsored this one, which we'll check out. Uh, we'll go to detail of now. All right, so the uh, very generous giveaway sponsored by Kovacs is the Stratios SOE Fire Cell skin. So the Stratios Sister V Fire Cell skin. It, I really like the way it looks. Um, the Stratios skins, one of the reasons we've chosen this one is uh, it seems really difficult to come by Stratios skins in game. Um, like I still don't have one, uh, so I'm going to be I'm pretty upset that I'm giving this one away, um, but Kovacs is sponsoring a giveaway. He's not giving me a skin to use for free. Um, I've just looked it up as well, and this is a very generous one again. Um, so thank you, Kovacs. The so there's not many of these skins available on the market, um, and they range between two. The very cheapest is 250 million, and they go up to 500 million um, sell orders. So. As I say, this is a very generous one from Kovacs, and thank you very much to him. I am very jealous. I would very much like to own this skin. I like the way it looks. The Fire Cell um, one is the defense skin is from the set. You've got a gold cell, which I think is archaeology. And I can't remember what the other cell is a uh, colour. Um, but this is my favourite of the three. Uh, and so this is what we're doing. Um, and it follows on quite nicely in the Sisters of Eve theme. We're living in wormholes. We're doing wormhole stuff. All about exploration. I lost a Stratios this week. Um, and the last ship I gave away was a Stratios. So here's the skin to go with it. Uh, in order to enter... Um, same as always, uh, please like the video, uh, you've got to be subscribed to the channel, so do that now, um, and then comment your in-game name uh, below, um, and just uh, also just give me a little comment about what you think of this, skin, what your favourite skin in-game is, um, and maybe we could look at doing a, a, another giveaway for skins in future um, but obviously if you're just going to comment the super expensive titan skins or the, or you know zenitra skins or something then we'll have to rethink but um <laughs> yeah let me know your favorite skin in game i am interested i do i do like a skin uh kovacs is a big fan of skins so he'll be very interested to hear what you uh, have got to say as well so um i will uh, look forward to reading those and we will carry on with the video. Cheers. So I wasn't paying attention and died again. Did you die? <laughs> what are you dying with? I thought you were I thought you were moving an orca. Please tell me you didn't blow uh, up an orca. No no I, I moved I moved the orca and cloned back into Null, but um <laughs> if you bought that today and had it killed now, then I would. What? Know, I what know, how many screens do you up. have? Do you have more than one screen? Yeah, in... I'm on two screens, but uh, okay. Then at least you're not flicking between like <laughs> tabs on one screen. Uh, then but... I just genuinely was um, too into my own voice and wasn't looking at local. <laughs> you focused about yourself. Say again. Are you, are you doing a video tonight? Or are you, uh, are you yeah, this, this is recorded. Actually, I am recording at the moment, so. This lovely death will is recorded. Excellent, excellent. Is doing it. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> <laughs> the little highlight of the day. <laughs> All right, and so that I think largely does the video for us today. Um, as I say, I'll. I want to start producing videos at a bit of a faster rate again, um, do a bit more content videos. So I'll still be doing these once a week because I, I'm enjoying doing these and I think hopefully you guys are still enjoying watching them. But I also want to do content videos. So as I said, my priority this week is definitely going to be um, 
the or for, well for the next week is going to be the uh, new bro wormhole guide um but a nice easy one i could put together is some of these combat anomalies in lalsec um you know could do a haven the forsaken rally points are good for isk so you know the a ratting guide for narsec perhaps um with the fit um alternatively uh so some of those and then same uh some wormhole content as well so um because from now i'm going to become more and more wormhole focused again uh really want to maintain the relationship with womp it's been brilliant um really want to maintain that relationship and they are more than welcome to come join us in oh well not, not, they they probably don't want to join us but um they're more than welcome to come make use of our wormhole space um if they want to come and try that out for a little while any of their pilots are more than welcome uh so really looking forward to continuing the relationship with those guys uh and that is probably it i guess so if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe to the channel um you have to be subscribed for the giveaway anyway uh you have to have liked it and commented your in-game name in the comments um and i'll be doing a draw at random and i will see you all in the next one thanks for watching cheers